Do you believe physical appearance is the driving force behind attractiveness? If you hold that belief, it's better you have a rethink. I agree that physical appearance plays a role, but your thoughts and how you carry yourself are the dominant power behind attractiveness. Today, I want to share with you five ways to be attractive in dating, in friendship, and even in business. My name is Moses Sihanacho, and this is The Boardroom. The Boardroom, where ideas come through. The Boardroom, power your idea. Research reveals that it takes less than one second from meeting a person to decide how much we like that person and whether we are attracted or not. So I want you to pay attention to what I'm about to say. If you want to be more attractive, the first thing I would recommend is to smile more if you are a female. So number one, smile more, especially if you are a female. It is incredible how important yet simple this smiling is. When you smile, you automatically become approachable. You become more interesting and friendlier. Smiling is a huge tool in attractiveness. Scientifically speaking, smiling will not only offer you a mood boost, but it will provide your body numerous health benefits. It will reduce your blood pressure, it will reduce stress and strengthen your immune system. When all this comes into play, it enables your face to radiate and then you look more attractive. So don't underestimate the power of smiling. Number two. If you want to be more attractive, you have to be kind. Kindness is very attractive. Kindness is the quality of being friendly, generous, and considerate. When it comes to attraction, it's definitely not all about looks. Good people often seem more attractive. People who are perceived as physically attractive are also perceived as having socially favorable personality traits like kindness. So you have to be kind to be attractive. Again, scientifically, the act of kindness can boost your confidence. It will help you be in control. You will become happy and optimistic. And then, what do you think would be the resultant effect? It will also encourage others to repeat the same to you. So being kind will ultimately make you more attractive. Number three, stick to a group if you want to be more attractive. People are more likely to be perceived as attractive when they are a part of a group. Let me tell you something. When you join groups, it satisfies your needs to belong. You gain information and understanding of issues. You feel the cheer and the inspiration of meeting people. And the logic is simple. As humans, we tend to process faces in groups. And so we form an average of all the faces we see. And that helps us to be more attractive. Another angle I want to bring to bear is how to behave in order to be attractive. You will have to listen more and talk less. You have to comport yourself and behave in a cultured manner. Again, if you are surrounded by people who are attractive, you will also look attractive. Number four, to be more attractive, you must take care of your body. Take care of yourself. What is beautiful is good. Most people assume that being physically attractive is a good thing. When you look good, people get attracted to you. If you are being perceived as attractive, you are more likely to get hired for jobs. If you are attractive, strangers might assume that you have a happier life. So what I'm saying here invariably is that you have to learn to embrace a healthy lifestyle. A healthy body is very often considered an attractive trait. I'm not saying you need to become a bodybuilder or a marathon runner to be more attractive. But you can start by making basic healthy decisions in your everyday life. Take it from there. Doing this can demonstrate maturity and responsibility. Number five, if you want to be more attractive, flaunt it if you've got it. Let me repeat that. Flaunt it if you've got it. You know what I mean? Okay, if you are a lady, don't try to hide your hips. Flaunt them. Wear pants or trousers that show off your figure and feel free to sway a little when you walk. Just like Shakira, the Colombian singer, she will always say, hips don't lie. So if you've got it, flaunt it now. 
you are not going to flaunt it when you are 75. And if you are a man, just be nice, look good, and do not be afraid to show your good features and talents. However, do everything in moderation. In conclusion, I want to say this. In dating, it's about physical availability. Will this person mate with me? With friends and long-time romantic partners, it is about emotional availability. Will this person open up to me? But for business, it's about economic and intellectual availability. Will this person work with me? That's a good place to leave it for today. Till next Tuesday, when I will come your way again. Please support our growing channel. Subscribe, like, turn on your notification bell so that you will always know when we upload videos. And share this video. Many thanks for watching. I'm Moses Ian Bye for now. The Boardroom. Power your ideas.